Today I'll talk on clustering. Clustering is the process of partitioning a set of data into meaningful similar subclasses called clusters. Clustering is grouping the set of objects in such a way that the objects in same group are grouped together. That is when doing clustering or cluster analysis we first partition the data into groups based on the similarity between them. Let us take an example library. In a library there will be huge number of books in various topics at different shelf. So it is very difficult to pick a particular book. So here comes clustering techniques. By using the clustering techniques we can keep the books that have similarities in one shelf or cluster and label it meaningfully then it will be easy to grab the book this is the simple example for clustering stages of clustering take raw data apply clustering algorithm and the output you get is clusters of data these are some different ways of representing the clusters look at the picture each and every cluster is represented differently next is applications of clustering clustering is applied in huge number of fields here i have mentioned few clustering is used in market research world wide web pattern recognition image processing and data mining next we'll see some examples of clustering search engine clustering is used to classify the document in the web suppose if you search niagara in search engine you could find the documents related with niagara which is a very good example for clustering next one is social network analysis in social network analysis clustering may be used to recognize communities within large group of people next in the field of genetics clustering algorithm is used to group genotypes the last one is marketing marketing manager in loan section uses clustering technique to cluster the customers with high salary and they target on those customers next is some advantages of using clustering technique scalability clustering algorithm deals with large database next it has the ability to deal with different kinds of attribute clustering algorithm deals with any kind of data such as numerical data categorical and binary data high dimensionality clustering algorithm handles high and low dimensional data interpretability clustering results are interpretable comprehensible and usable next we'll see clustering methods or clustering types clustering methods can be classified into following categories partitioning method hierarchical method in which you have two types they are agglomerative method and divisive method density based method model based method and finally the constraint based method we'll see one by one partitioning method clustering is based on data partitions next one is hierarchical method finding new clusters using previously found ones here you have two types one is agglomerative approach and the next one is divisive approach we'll see the first one agglomerative 
it is a bottom up approach it starts with one point recursively add two or more appropriate clusters stop still all groups are merged to one or k number of clusters are formed next one is divisive it is a bottom up approach recursively divide the cluster into small clusters it stops when k number of cluster is achieved next one is density based approach clustering is based on density that is the regions with sufficiently high density points N next one is model based clustering in this type of clustering model is hypothesized for each of clusters and tries to find the best fit of that model to each other the last one is constraint based clustering clustering is done based on user specified constraint or some specific constraint these are some types or methods of clustering the last one is clustering algorithms here i have given some few important clustering algorithms that are used widely they are k means clustering algorithm fuzzy c means clustering algorithm hierarchical clustering algorithm mixture of gaussian algorithm thus clustering is explained thank you